everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video I have this look for you guys and I'm using the new Anastasia prism palette so at first when I opened up this palette I was like oh my god there's a lot going on like a lot of colors and just a lot going on but honestly you can create a lot of different looks with this you can go from natural to really dramatic so I think this is a really nice palette. I do really like the look that I came up with today. And then I decided to go with a bold orange lip today. I used the new Pat McGrath lipstick. So cute. Um, so it definitely feels like a very springy look today. I don't know why, but I was just really feeling a bright orange lip today. And then all of this happened. I'm also wearing florals, so yeah, I don't know. So anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. I'm going to start off this look by setting my primer with the shade called Unity. I just set my entire lid with that. And then I'm going to go in with my crease shade and I'm using Eden. And this shade was super pigmented. I was like, whoa. So I'm putting that into my upper crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just going to blend it in, buff it out nicely. Next, I'm going into the shade Saturn on a Sigma E35 blending brush. And I'm putting this just a little bit below the first shade that we put, Eden. Just a little bit below that to deepen it up and give it a more orangey coral um, look. So, and then I'm going back to the E40 just to blend everything out, all the harsh edges. Okay, girl, what are you doing there? At least show it to the camera. <laughs> Anyways, I was actually using the um, dark brown in the palette. It's called Parallel. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm kind of cutting the crease, but not really. It's not like a super cut crease. I'm just kind of defining the crease I guess and um, I'm just using a flat definer brush and drawing out kind of like a wing type of situation um, right above a little bit above my crease and then I'm blending it out with a pencil brush it's not a super cut crease but you will still get to see a little bit of that definition in the crease so I think it looked really nice I've never really done this type of look before so yeah I just wanted to try out something different um, so yeah that's what I'm doing here blending it out with the pencil brush again I don't want anything too harsh and then I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and just kind of cleaning up right below the line I thought I put way too much on my right eye but that I worked out perfectly fine and then I realized I put way too little on my other eye <laughs> so yeah I'm just cleaning up just below that brown liner type of situation that we did <laughs> so that we have a smoother base and a little bit more defined when we go in with the shadow on our lid so yeah just cleaning it up here and then blending it out a little bit with the pencil brush again. And then I'm gonna go into, oh, I'm gonna blend it out one more time, I guess. <laughs> Always blending out with my E40. I love it, I love my E40. And then I'm taking the shade Pyramid, which is a really pretty golden shade, and I am just gonna put that all over the lid. And this was actually pretty pigmented, didn't get a lot of fallout as well, so that was nice. I didn't use any Fix Plus or anything, so it was pretty pigmented. And then just again taking the pencil brush to kind of smooth out the lines. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a normal winged liner, just a normal wing. You kind of want to make it, make the wing a little bit um, longer. Well, not longer, I mean just as long as the upper wing is, that brown line. So, yeah, just do a normal winged liner. 
Then once I have the wing done, I'm gonna go ahead, um, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then falsies. Oh, by the way, I've been loving this Essence Mascara. So good, and it's just under $5, I believe. Really, really good. I think this is the Lash Paradise. Um, really, really nice, love it. Actually, one of my colleagues recommended um, this mascara to me, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> So for my lower lash line, I'm taking the dark brown um, called Parallel on a flat definer brush and I'm just smudging that really close to my lash line. And then I'm taking the bright orange, which is Saturn, on a pencil brush to smudge it and smoke it out a little bit. And then I just wanted to add a little bit of that copper um, shade, it's called Eternal. So I just smudge that under there as well. And then I'm gonna finish it up with some mascara. Okay, so the eyes are done. I'm just gonna finish off the face. And I already have my base done just to save time, but everything that I used, I will link it in the description box down below. I am just gonna go ahead and set the contour with my Kat Von D shade and my palette. Don't mind my voice, I'm still kind of sick. <clears throat> and I feel like coughing every like two seconds, but I'm just like trying to hold it in. To highlight the face today, I'm taking the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. I think this is new. So I just turned down my brightness just to show you guys what the shades look like. Right over here for the highlight. I'm going to take Butterscotch right here. It's a golden shade. So it's just going to tie in with the gold on the eyes. This is pretty. For blush today, I want to keep it pretty neutral um, because I have a lot going on on the eyes and I'm going for a bold lip today. So I'm going to go with MAC Buff. use a little bit of gumdrop it's like that chrome pink chrome type of highlight it's really pretty now for the most exciting part I'm gonna be taking the new Pat McGrath matte trans lipstick these are the matte lipsticks that she came out with and I think the packaging is so cool you get this little cute little packaging with literally like a face on it all around and it's so cool and then you open it up and then you have the lipstick so the packaging on the lipstick is super cool I love the whole detail the lip right here and I think it's really cool I decided to get this in the shade obsessed 211 this is like a really bright orange um, it's weird because I never really go for bold lips and if I'm trying out a new lipstick I always go for nudes but this one looked really really pretty and I just really wanted to go with a bright orange I love bright oranges so yeah this is the one that I'm gonna try out and see how I like it and if I really like it then I'm gonna go by the nudes all right so I'm just gonna pop this on whoa I told you it's bright. It's bright. And these are really creamy. Wow. 
super creamy. They go on really, really smooth. And for a matte lipstick, they're not, they don't feel drying or anything at all. It's definitely not a matte formula in my opinion. I was expecting this to be like actually matte, you know what I mean? But it's more of that satin finish. Um, I don't mind it. I really do like the color, but I love my matte lipsticks. So I wish it was matte. And um, if you thought it was matte and you decided to get it and you paid the price that you did, then you might be a little bit disappointed, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and take out my braid and I will show you guys the final look. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked this look. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here, and I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.